Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm not going to be there today with you, uh, so I put together. I'm going to put together a little lesson. Uh, this is what I'd like you to be doing uh, in class. What we're going to do is uh, take a green screen photo uh, or green screen image. We're going to remove the background, and then we're going to put it into another uh, onto another backdrop. Okay, it's relatively simple to do. All of the files that you need are going to be found in student share under my name so student share roots art and then go into green screen and so the first uh, the first image that we're going to open up is uh, one titled green screen and it's a little image of a, of a uh, minion so what you'll need to do is make sure that you have Photoshop running and uh, so once your Photoshop is open and we're using Photoshop CC or sorry you'll be using CS uh, 16 and uh, it will be the 64-bit one. So once you have it open, I need you to go to um, File, Open, okay, in Photoshop, and then find the Minion uh, green screen. It's just titled Green Screen in yours. Open that up, and you'll see that we've got this little Minion here. Now what we're going to do is cut out all of this background, and we just want our Minion. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a mask. Now the first thing that you'll see is on the right hand side down here, this minion is set as our background. What we're going to do is duplicate that layer. So we can either right click there or we can go to layer, duplicate layer, and don't worry about the name, it can just be a, a background copy is fine. Uh, select OK and it creates another layer. Now we need to make sure that down here I can either select my background or my uh, uh, background copy. So I want to work from my background copy. And what we'll be doing is um, selecting our, using our quick selection tool. And so go over, hover over our quick selection tool and we're going to select our little minion. But first of all he's a little bit too far away so what I'm going to do is go down and um, zoom in on my minion, try to get him in uh, so I can see him, get him centered in the middle of my screen, just like so, and uh, we'll be working with him. So I'm going to go back to my quick selection tool, and again in my quick selection tool I can click on the size of the brush that I want to be using. I'm going to make it just a little bit larger, so I'm going to go about 11, maybe 12 pixels, somewhere around there, it's fine, it doesn't have to be 12. Uh, and then I'm going to click on to add to my selection. So I want to make sure that I'm going to add to my selection. So I'm going to start in the middle of my uh, minion and I'll just start clicking and dragging. You can see that it's going to start to snap and grab different colors. Okay, and I'll go down his arm, grab his hand. It should grab his hand here. Come on. Okay, there I've got his hand. Okay, also I'm going to go and grab on the other side. Okay, now, uh, and the hair is going to be difficult with this little guy. Uh, so I'm not going to be, don't worry too much about the hair at this time. Uh, we'll, we can work on doing some fine tuning a little bit later. I just want you to learn how to uh, work on the tool. Now, I'm not going to worry about the little puddle that he's standing underneath. Okay, that's not a big deal to me. Um, but this area underneath his arms is and you can see there's a little selection here underneath his hand that also got selected with the green screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to go back to the size of my, um, that, that gets selected. I'm going to drop that back down to just a few pixels, maybe five, four pixels. Okay, should be fine. And I'm also going to go back and zoom in. So in here, go back to my quick selection tool again and now I'm going to click on subtract from my selection and I'll start in the middle uh, where his hand is underneath his arm and there I just clicked in there and it selected an area and then I'm gonna go back over and I'm gonna go to the other side and I clicked in there and it grabbed that area okay and then underneath his arm here I'm gonna try to get rid of this little piece down here Again, I'm just going to push it in. It goes a few pixels at a time. Okay, and we're just going to do this quite quickly. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect today. Um, you can work on it a little bit more uh, when we get more detail in. 
also you can see as I look up here it's actually selected his band here so I want to remove that as well Oops, so I'm going to go back and subtract from my selection and okay, subtract this from my selection come on oh sorry I don't want to subtract that from my selection I need to add that to my selection Okay, so I'm going to go back, add to my selection, and I'm going to push out. Okay, so I get my minion, and my computer's running a little slow right now. Okay, so I'm going to continue to go until I all of this you can see the little they're called walking ants once all those little walking ants are gone okay and oh here we go I'm starting to work now okay and it should be a little quicker on yours. Everything's just working a little bit slowly here. So I'm going to zoom back out. Okay, so I can see there's my minion. It looks like he's selected quite well. Okay, and now what I want you to do is uh, we're going to go, I'll just click on my selection tool. I don't want to just delete this guy. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go, uh, first of all, I'm going to go to my select and I'm going to inverse my selection. Okay, actually, I'm going to zoom out so you can see what's happening here. You'll be able to see it a little more clearly. Okay, so if I zoom out and I have my whole image here now, okay, when I zoom out and I go to select and I'm going to inverse my selection, now what you'll see is all of this has now become selected. So I've actually, I've selected the green now, even though the minion looks like he's selected, I've selected everything around him. So the next thing I'm going to do is click on mask. Okay, so there's add a layer mask down in the bottom right hand corner. And I'm gonna click there. Okay, now it looks like nothing's happened, but if I go back to my background and turn this off, click on my little viewer to turn it off, you can see that my minion is gone. Okay. Okay. Um, so my minion can be turned on or off. Now, if I go back to my, actually, I'm going to step back. Okay. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to invert my selection again. So I just have my my minion, and I'm now I'm going to add a layer mask. Okay. So now if I turn off my background copy, now you can see that I've got my minion. Now it's not perfect. You can see if I zoom in here, I do have a little piece of green. You know, there's a little bit of a green tinge here. I'm going to show you how to refine that a little bit better later. But for now, this should be work. This should work just fine. Okay. So my minion has now been selected. Okay. Now I need to put him somewhere. So I've decided that I want to put my minion. I'm going to go file. And this time I'm going to, uh, where are we here? I'm going to place embedded, or yours might just say place. Okay, and I'm going to grab the moonshot. Okay, yours says moon and earth. And I'm going to click enter, and it's there. Now you're saying to yourself, but hold on, I can't see my minion. Well, that's because of the layer that he's that he's in. Okay, so see how these are uh, the moonshot is actually layered over top of my minion. So what I need to do is go and grab this moonshot on the side. Okay, I'm going to grab and I'm going to drag it down underneath. So now my minion appears on the top of that. So because I'm on my, I'm going to go back to my background, and there's my minion. I can actually grab him and move him and I can resize him if I hold shift down and click 
I can keep him a relative size and now I put him on the moon okay so if I go to my zoom oh let's apply my transformation first okay and if I go fit to screen there's my image we'll tidy it up a little bit but uh, you can see there what I did uh, so again there's some green showing around the outside of him don't worry too much about that uh, and then we would just save this uh, so what I'd like you to do is go file you're going to go save as and right now you just pick the place where you're going to save it we're going to save it as a JPEG okay and uh, put it in your folder okay and that should uh, that should be good for your lesson today all right take care